Hello everyone and welcome back um, to uh, my video series as we lead up uh, to the election. I know I said that I was going to do a Senate uh, prediction video today at the end of last night's uh, video, uh, but I've decided to hold off on that until tomorrow. Uh, we don't have many left, uh, so we will, we will do that tomorrow. Um, I want to take a a little bit of a more broad look at the race than I'm um, considering uh, doing tomorrow um, and almost ready to uh, make a projection in. So we will have that video up probably tomorrow. But I want to talk about something uh, that I saw last night um, on the internet and I know that uh, I probably... Um, lose my mind about this uh, more than should be seen. Uh, but a lot of our public servants who are online uh, should have their phones taken away, honestly. Um, and there's no better example of this than, obviously, uh, the President of the United States of America uh, currently. Uh, but um, a representative uh, from the state of Louisiana um, is another strong contender, and his name is Clay Higgins. This is not from Mr. Higgins' personal account, mind you. No, it is from his official House of Representatives account, what I am about to read you. Representative Clay Higgins at 2 in the afternoon on Friday, the 23rd of October, 2020, tweeted this. My wife has the gift of premonition. Last night, she dreamed that federal squads were in her home, seizing guns, knives, unauthorized foods, and stored water. They said we had been reported. Becca awoke. What crying? What happened to our freedom? She asked. What indeed? Now, first of first off, the whole guns and knives horse shit is old. The, the libs are coming for your guns and knives. Please. Barack Obama was president for eight years and couldn't get gun control passed. Just federal background checks. I don't think... I might even go there. But, but... Th this next line... Unauthorized foods. What in the... Hell. I'm sure that was some aside to to the to the Fox News crowd, like the Green New Deal, I guess is, and you know how that they dunk on the Green New Deal uh, because someone in a AOC's office joked about banning uh, beef. Cows, please, and stored water. Um, I don't know any progressive or liberal uh, that is against storing water, uh, recycling water. Um, if there are, please let me know. Uh, maybe this is like, all oh, libs are against bottled water. Uh, which would come as a, a shock to, uh, tons of liberals around America who drink bottled water all the time, but who do recycle the bottles. So, you know. 
I've never known a, a liberal to be against uh, recycling. But, uh, but apparently that, that, that's now a thing libs are against. <sighs> they said we had been reported. Also, how are you going to make the argument that Joe Biden and the libs are going to defund the police when you're saying that if they win, there's going to be these federal squads coming around to your house? And and finally, I'm going to close on, on these two thoughts. One, he threw his wife under the bus here. One, because it wasn't Becca who had this dream. No, it's Clay. And, uh, mmm, mmm. And lastly, where the F was his staff? Like, when he sat down and told them, hey, I had this crazy dream last night, and I want to tweet about it. Or, he knew how crazy it sounded, and he just threw his wife under the bus. And he said, this is what Becca dreamed. This is nuts. Um, but it's just, like, this is an elected official. And they're tweeting out this nonsense. Uh, when I tweet out nonsense, I'm tweeting out nonsense from my account. I'm not an elected official. So, and if I was an elected official, I would try not to tweet out nonsense. Um, but jeez Louise. Um, There, 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 there's some nutty people out there, and uh, living in rural America, I believe that I have my finger on the pulse of a uh, rural America, and um, unfortunately, I want to report to you uh, that Mr. Higgins um, or Mrs. Higgins, uh, since you know, we're going to go with what Clay says. He's not an outlier. Uh, there are people out there that, that believe this nonsense in rural America. Lots of them. Um, I think it's primarily part and parcel to their media diet. Uh, when you are only consuming right-wing information, and not just right-wing information, Horribly, horrible right-wing information. This kind of stuff seeps into your brain. Um, and it rots it. Uh, so, please be aware that this is something that's really out there. And something after the election. And... We really need to focus on the fact that there are vast areas of the country that people have lost their minds. And we have got to figure out how to make them not have their mind lost anymore. Bring them back. To reality. Um, I don't know if that's through, you know, starting up new media ventures. Uh, one thing you can definitely do is support local journalism. 
uh, because I believe that is a big reason we're in this mess right now, um, is the death of local journalism um, and local reporting. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here to report that uh, this is, in fact, a, a, a real um, held belief out there, um, unfortunately, uh, by many people um, in rural America. And it's scary. Uh, but um, know that we're not all crazy. Uh, know that some of us are uh, sane. Uh, and some of us see the nonsense going on and are horrified. Uh, there are a lot of good people in rural America. But there are also a lot of people uh, who have lost their ever-loving mind.